This video is sponsored by Value Testers. For a complete line of heating and HVAC testing equipment, biggest selection and best pricing on the internet, create a free login to see best pricing once logged in. Link in description below. Good morning guys, it is May 17, 2018. This one here, um, I was at this job yesterday, a lady called me, she had a problem with a, a toilet, her son tried to fix it. And he went over there, he busted all the inside of the flush valve apart. I mean, the toilet's probably, looked like it was a Mansfield toilet, but back in, you know, 1958 or something like that. That's, that's before I was born. So I told her I, I put a new toilet in there. It's a green toilet. I'm going back with a white one. Uh, but I'm on my way now to get the toilet. When I get back, I'll show you what, what the guy did to it. I mean, he made a mess out of it. All it needed was a gasket on the Mansfield flush valve, and he busted the thing all up. Unbelievable. But whatever. I'm not playing around with a flush valve on an old toilet like that. It's going, I'm going with a new toilet. We'll give it the old swap a roll, mama. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Let's see, broke it off. All it needed was a gasket. But I ain't playing with it. I mean, it's well, it's a standard. I mean, it looks like a it looks like a Mansfield flush valve in an American standard toilet. I mean, that's an old one. It's a new look, it's even got the copper ball cock. I mean, the thing's got to go. It's got the extra, it's got the extra things in the front, you know, it's an old toilet. <coughs> Probably only needed this, but could flip and ruined it. Oh well. American standard toilet with a Mansfield flush valve. I mean, that's the first. The first time I seen that. Across the one. back in the day. That's the good stuff. That's what they had. They made good stuff. It comes apart. Things older than me. I said 58. So that's what 60 years old. And the screws come apart just like that. I mean that's good brass. They don't make stuff like this no more. That's real brass. Back when they made things to last.
need someone to diagnose and then estimate in a couple of weeks, I believe. Um, something like on the house tomorrow, so I'm not in the house yet. Something like that's done. Time and material. My crystal ball's at home. I don't know what what you're gonna run into with that. Alan. So how can I give you an estimate on that? I really can't. You know. No, I would need you to come out and like take a look and estimate. I'm not coming out to give you an estimate. I just told you I do a time material on something like that. Okay. Am I? Good luck. Estimate. Ten grand. Come on, give him an estimate. Yeah, right, buddy. Come on, give you an estimate. Don't even, won't even own the house. You got any more raw toilet paper? Well, I, here, you want this? I just brought this. I don't know. If well, that's fine. I mean. Okay, my husband's gonna go down and see. We have been away, and uh, there's a place down the shop and things. He'll be right. He'll be right with you. With some kind of cleaner. Okay. Oh, look at that! I mean, it's just rotted. Rotted to shit. No, that's all right. You don't mind? No, we'll throw it out. All right. Well, yeah, it help, it? yeah, well, you want to clean it, I think. You know, I'd rather see it clean before I put the new toilet down. Tech tip, man. Tech tip. Nuts from you know old toilets I take out if they're good I'll save them I'll use them I'd rather use that I'd rather use the brass nuts I could put a socket on it and them other things this is a durable viper toilet which are good toilets. driver on a deep socket quarter inch what I usually do is I'll tip the tip the tank back and forth and tighten it with the other hand get the wobble out of it you don't want to tighten it too much and you'll crack it What's up? Hey, listen. Get what? me a handle up, 
at, I quoted you at 3621 YA Angela. Yeah. We don't have one because everybody uses up to three tons, the 17 wide one. I have a 21 inch wide one that you wanted in 115 volt, if that's all right. That ain't gonna work, cause I what I got up there now is 220. I understand. You can't drop a leg and make it 115. No, I don't want to play around with that. I mean, can you get one from another store? I don't. That's the problem. I don't have any in any of my stores. Um, I could try to look around for you. I just got back to you now. I'm looking at the order and I called Paul and blah 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 and. Well, like I said, that's that uh, that fiberboard junk up there. I really don't want to try to play around with that too much unless I have to, you know? I want to keep well, the... like I said, I've got one that's three inches short, the 3617. Um, that would be a couple inches difference. Uh, that one I have right on the shelf in, in 220. I know what you're saying, but I just realized now I don't have it. All right, we'll have to go with the 17 then. I mean, that's that's four inches difference. I mean, well, if you, you're one and a half on both sides is what you are. All right. Like I'll I said, that's that fiberboard shit. I, you know. I, I wouldn't be scared of that stuff, Steve. You'll be fine with that. Stab it and, and tape it up and you'll be fine. Yeah, I'll just tape it up, so right? So, uh, so I'm taking the return stuff off that, right? Yeah. I'll put the 17 wide on here. Uh, be easy to get up there. I'll have to manage. I'll have to manage somehow. I'll do something with it. All right, now I met Doctor. What are you doing about a secondary green team? Is there one up there? Yeah, there's one up there. It'll look fine to me. Okay, okay. So I'll change that to a 17 wide. Um, hey, I seen I seen your brother. I seen your brother at the supply house. He was saying that Robbie said he was just with you, and he's lying to me. I didn't say I was with you. I said I was going by to see. Adjust it right here. You have to put a water line. That's good. Right where you want it, right there. seat on and cut those bolts and I'll be done. See the way the nuts are? That's the way they should be on the seat. Not the other way around. That groove goes up into the toilet. Alright, I was able to cut those. I was able to cut. 
cut and put the caps on it. It's a Gerber Viper, which is a pretty good toilet. I mean, they flush good, they flush well.